Hello and welcome to Oz Toy Reviews. Now it's your old pal Oz here again today and we are still going through all the old Ushis I have lying around the place. So what's happened with these is when cleaning out my studio I found that I've got a ton of Ushis for old series which no I'm never going to do a video about like I don't know what's this uh, series 16 of the Lego minifigures or, or what's this series 1 of the Batman and Superman movie. So because we're not going to use them again we might as well open them all up now and make a fun video out of it. So uh, without any more talking, I can't think of anything else to say, let's just get into it. Hey, and if you haven't noticed, I'm using the set from the recent Treasure Hunt movie, uh, so I don't know, if you're interested in Treasure Hunt movies, check it out. So okay, number one. So this is from DC Comics Sushi Series 2, so these came out about maybe, oh, this is terrible. these came out maybe a year ago, maybe a little bit longer, but anyway, who do we have? Let's just do it slowly. Oh, we see our hat. Do you know who he is? It's the penguin. Awesome. So we'll, uh, we'll check him there. Ah, I almost forgot. <laughs> we have to check him out up close. So there he is. I love his monocle. I don't know if he's always got a little orange waistcoat. I always thought his waistcoat was kind of black or purple, but I could be wrong. It looks cool. I love how they kind of made a totally custom figure just for one character. They do that a lot more in Series 3. I remember when Series 2 came out being a little bit impressed by it. Um, so we'll put them over there. Now, next one is Justice League Series 1. Now, there has been a Series 2 come out since then, so that's why this is older. But even the Series 2 ones would be getting old by now. It's only been a few months, but... There's only seven in the series, so you kind of open them all up once and then that's it. But anyway, who do we have? It's a Batman. He looks... He looks like Sad Batman. Check him out. Does it look like Sad Batman? It does. Okay, let's stick him together. Now, there he is. It's definitely Sad Batman. I love this kind of shiny golden belt. Got a cool cape. We'll take it off just in case you're not familiar with the series, but... All their capes can go in the cape holes. It doesn't look painful at all, just shoving a cape into a hole in your spine. But there we go. Now we gotta be pretty fast with each one if we want to get through the video pretty quickly. I think my last one doing these was over 20 minutes, so I've gotta be even faster. But not too fast that you can't understand what I'm saying, even with my crazy accent. Anyway, so what was that? That was, uh, Ushis, where's the top gone? It is Marvel Ushis Series 2. Who is it? It is Rhino! He looks cool. I love, um, I've seen a few of these now, but I love the details. Like all those little bumps there. His little Rhino eye. All those bumps. I never understood. Like, look what happened to his chest. He's got like, his chest muscles are like three boobs. And he's got his abs. It's looking cool. Okay, on with the next one. Now, this was a series I really liked. It was the Lego Minifigure Series 16. Had lots of cool guys. I never got that uh, devil guy. He would have been really cool. Or that guy. They would have been really cool for blind bag battles, having like a devil boy. But maybe, maybe we got him today. Who is it? It's, no, it's not devil boy. It looks like it's the Arabian Knight. Let's put them together. Okay, now here he is. So he's looking really cool, he's got like a sash over there and another sash around his uh, waist. Looks really cool and shame he doesn't have like, um, some of the newer series have, Focus has a, a little kind of thing that goes around their neck and then there's got one hole in his back there. Because then you would be able to connect his sword to the little like bump there and that would have been cool. But he doesn't do that, but I, I have seen some characters recently who have that which would, would have really worked with this guy but um check out the sword too i've always liked the sword because again it's got lots of little spots where you could put gems and rubies and one down the bottom oh camera there you go so that's really cool i like him i wish i had the devil guy but can't pick them all okay but anyway now on with justice league action series 2 Now, I like the Justice League action series. I kind of catch it about once a week. They're still making new ones, which is cool. Now, who do we have? It is, I think, Kryptonian Lex Luthor. Let's put them together. 
Now there he is. He looks very cool with his holographic armor. Spin him around. And just for the fun of it, let's get Batman. Let's compare the sizes. So similar builds, similar sizes. Let's just change the heads just in case you're not familiar with these cool mighty minis. The coolest thing is that you can like change their body parts around, which is awesome. But anyway, let's keep going. Go with it anyway. <laughs> now we got Spider Man Homecoming Ushis. I'm gonna need the scissors for these ones. And I'm making a big mess as I go. I've cut no figures yet, which is lucky. I think in the last video I, I chopped uh, a, oh, no. chopped some of uh, someone's cape in half once. Anyway, who do we have? It is Holographic Spider Man! It looks really cool. I got one of these in the last video, I think. Now we've opened six and we've made a big mess, so let's quickly do some magic, clean up a bit, and then we can keep going. Okay, that's better. Now we're ready to go and everything's all clean. And just to save some time, I chopped the tops off all of these uh, blind bags remaining. So let's keep going. So first up, who do we have in this Marvelushi Series 3 blind bag? Who's that? Do you know that face? <laughs> it is. I believe his name is Classic Moon Knight. And he's a bit like Batman where he stalks around the rooftops at night time and he uses uh, weapons and technology to scare people. But one kind of advantage he has over Batman is depending on the cycle of the moon, uh, like say if the moon was full or he could be really powerful or if it was like an eclipse, he would be very weak and want to stay in bed. So depending on the cycle of the moon, that would also determine his strength. He looks very cool and I love how he's got a little, little moon on his chest. <laughs> but anyway, let's keep going. So next up we got, this is Lego Minifigures Series 15. So who do we have? So I would really love to get that cool robot guy. I never found him or that dude. That'd be awesome in like blind bag battles. But let's see, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It is Lego Fawn. Cool, let's stick them together. Now here he is, he's looking really cool and I really love the like little curly chest hairs he's got. And the full horn. And one thing which is really unique to this guy is his legs. See he's got kind of like horse legs. It's awesome that they made like unique legs just for this one guy. So they still move like normal. It's very cool. Oh and what's coming off is his hat. And oh, gone blurry. It's cool because you can swap it around with other guys. So you could give Zan cool like horns or is there a robin around I love using robin there he is give robin cool like elf ears and horns I don't know where robin's real face is but he looks awesome okay we'll put him there I keep on getting distracted and doing fun things but <laughs> now here we go we got Justice League series one and who could be I really want another Steppenwolf he'd be cool Let's find out, maybe Wonder Woman, it is... Cyborg, yeah, Cyborg. Let's stick them together. Now here he is, and he's looking really cool. I've always found Cyborg a little bit creepy, because you kind of don't know where his body ends. So like, inside that metal case, there's just, like, torn up shreds of, like, organs and hearts and liver, and now, like, where does his... Does he have a real spine going down there? I don't know, it's really creepy. <laughs> but just seeing his, well, just seeing his face is like left alive, it's just, it's just a little bit creepy. But anyway, he, he looks cool, I love all the details on his suit. I love the light between his eyes too, that looks really cool. Okay, anyway, gotta keep moving. Now, here we have Lego Minifigures, sorry, the Lego Batman Movie Minifigures Series 1. And just in the last movie we did, we opened up Series 2. So series 1, Series 2. Now, who are we going to have inside this one? I think, I think I've got all these guys already. So, who's it going to be? It is Caveman Batman! Let's put them together. Now, here we go. Now, I probably don't need to tell you that I'm going to put them together every time. Because it would be hard to review them not put together. But, uh, either way, this guy looks really cool. I love how he looks like he's sewn his out of leather. I can still see some sit stitches. 
And then his like bat symbol has just been carved into a rock around his neck, which is cool. And what he has under his cape? Oh, nothing, he's nude. Okay, that's what cavemen did, so it's cool. Now, we'll put him there, and is he gonna stand up? There we go. Now, Justice League action series. Man, I should have kept these cut on. <laughs> series two blind bags. Now, who we do we have inside? It looks like it is Gold Superman. Now, there he is, and he's looking really cool. It's kind of weird how he has no mouth. Now, just for fun, let's take off his arms and his cape. Just in case you haven't seen many uh, Mighty Minis before, I'll show you what you can do. You can make a big mess. Oh, Cyborg's arms. Really don't want to get in there. So there you go, got cool Cyborg arm Superman. He looks like that uh, Russian Superman. There's a few episodes of Justice League action where Superman is like a bad Russian guy. Uh, and he looks a little bit like this dude. But anyway, he looks cool. Now I've got two incomplete Mighty Minis, but this... Who cares? Let's keep going. Now, here we have another Mighty Mini. So this is the Mighty Minis Batman vs Superman movie blind bags. These are really old. I found these when I was traveling through near the middle of Australia, out in the outback. There's a tiny little town, and in their toy shop they had these uh, really old blind bags, so I was, was kind of lucky to find them. But anyway, who do we have? It is, whoa, another Batman! It looks like, uh, I think it's Armored Batman his name was. Let's check him out. Now there he is, he's looking really cool! Look at those forearms, they're huge! I'd hate to be hit with those. Kind of like he's carrying cannons on the end of his arm. Superman left his cape here, let's just chuck it on. There you go, very cool. Take the cape off. Now, put him there. I love his uh, gold belt, by the way. I don't know if I pointed that out. It's all sparkly. Okay, now, one left. Lucky last. Who are we gonna have? Let's do it slowly. Do you recognize whose head that is? We'll spin him around. It's Superman! Now, I'm pretty sure this guy's name is Grey and Black Superman, for obvious reasons, because the suit is grey and black. And I really love how that Superman symbol really kind of jumps out because of the, the this contrast between the black and the grey. And he's got his classic Superman pose with his hands on his hips, looking very cool. Now, that snuck up on me. I didn't even realize that was our last blind bag. But now, let's quickly go through who we found today. So first up, we got uh, Penguin, Rhino, Kryptonian Lex Luthor, Sad Batman, Arabian Knight, Holographic Spider-Man, and Moon Knight. And then in the back row we have Lego Fawn, Cyborg, uh, Caveman Batman, Armored Batman, a Golden Superman, and what was that? That was like grey and white, or grey, yeah, grey and white Superman. And stay tuned for Sunday, because on Sunday I will do a story and a review of this guy from Batman Beyond. Uh, mainly because, as far as I can see, no one else in the world has seen him or done a review of that guy yet. So it's kind of cool to be first. But then after that, I could do Steppenwolf video. But I know I haven't done a Lego Bash Up Brawl or a Blind Bag Battle in a long time. So you can help me decide. So vote uh, in the comments below if you want a Lego Bash Up Brawl, a Blind Bag Battle, or a story and a review of Steppenwolf here. And then, like always, if you like this video, let me know by clicking the thumbs up like button. If you want to subscribe and you haven't already, then click the subscribe button. But always, the most important thing I have to say is to take care of yourself, guys. Have a very good week, and I will catch you next time.